As a business owner, Paul Haleko prides himself on supporting local businesses. But he says the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement between the U.S. and countries including Vietnam and Japan is threatening vital economic partnerships in the Hudson Valley. But it's important that free trade be on an equal footing between equal partners. And what you're talking about with some of the uh, countries here, it's not going to be equal footing. And that means, yes, the end farmer is going to be affected. This trade agreement won't impact the beer the Newburgh Brewing Company makes here, but it will impact other aspects of their business. We try as much as possible to support our local farms and our other local purveyors in what we serve from our kitchen. And this specific trade agreement will have an enormous effect on them. Local farmers like Chris Pavelski say the agreement doesn't economically benefit the U.S. and threatens to hurt the local economy. A lot of cheap produce, it's flooded into our markets and it's led to um, loss in price and in some cases loss of farms. Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney says he's concerned about the overall economic impact this trade agreement could have on the Hudson Valley. Where is it going to create jobs? I want good jobs here in the Hudson Valley and we need to stop doing things that ship our jobs overseas. Legislation introduced earlier this month would fast track this trade agreement, giving both the House and the Senate little say on how trade is conducted with these countries. We shouldn't ram it through. We should have a good conversation about this and get it right. And really hurting our local farmers and if they can't compete that means they can't exist and if they can't exist we can't serve their product. In Newburgh, Meredith Zarathini, Time Warner Cable News.